Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and create a part file uh, using the coil tool. So to do this, we just need a, um, a sketch uh, with a profile and an axis to, uh, to revolve around. Okay, so for our profile, we're gonna go ahead and make kind of a, a circle shape. Um, and that circle is going to be um, uh, two inches. Um, then we're gonna go ahead and just uh, make a second circle. Oops. Put the circle tool. And that circle is going to be, let's say, uh, one inch. And we're gonna go ahead and trim that out. Okay, it's kind of an arbitrary shape here just to illustrate um, the tool. Okay, then we need a, um, a axis outside of that. So let's go ahead and put our axis just somewhere outside just for, uh, for an example. <clears throat> Using the line tool, so I clicked, moved the mouse, clicked, and then right clicked, okay. And then we're gonna finish the sketch. Okay, so we have our uh, sketch here that has our profile and our axis. Next, we're gonna go ahead and click coil. Notice that the profile is automatically selected. Um, so uh, then I'm gonna go ahead and select the axis. And um, notice that we can go in the direction here. So notice if we look at this green line, that's the predicted uh, coil there. Uh, so if we click the axis, notice we're going up or down. Um, also, so let's go ahead. We, I noticed that the green line looks like it's pretty close. In fact, it looks like if this profile went around the green line, it would run into itself. And in fact, if I click OK, I get this very common error um, that says self-intersecting. So notice right here, we have a self-intersecting coil. Uh, so Inventor can't do that. So we're gonna go ahead and try it again. So we go coil and select the, um, the ax axis there. And, but this time we're gonna change the coil size. So we know that our circle is two inches, so our pitch has to be at least two inches, okay? So that will give space, you know, if our, our, if our, uh, our coil is in the center of that circle, then we need to have space for it to coil around. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and make it four inches. Um, okay, so, so I go ahead and click okay, and now I see that I have a, a coil um, I'm going to go ahead and change uh, the material. Um, you don't need to do this, but to uh, just a metallic so we can see it. Uh, okay, so we have a 365 degree coil here. Uh, and in, in the coil um, dialog, that's one revolution. Okay, so let's make it 10 revolutions. Okay, and we see that the green line is our, um, you know, is um, predicting what it's going to look like. And let's say our taper, let's say, is 25 degrees. So we're going to have this coil going out here. And I'm going to go ahead and click OK. All right, the last thing we're going to look at here are the coil ends. So notice that this coil just continues up, and the end on the top, uh, just it's as if the coil was just cut off. OK, there's no adjustment to it. But imagine, and, and on the bottom is the same way. OK, but imagine that we wanted this coil to uh, sit flat. So I'm going to go ahead and stretch it out a little bit so we can see it. Uh, let's say that the pitch was uh, 10 inches. Okay, now it's a little bit more severe, right? So the coil comes up and it's pointing almost straight up. So let's say we wanted that top part to be kind of flat. Okay, we wanted to sit against a flat surface, that would be a problem. So let's go ahead and double click the coil again. And we're on coil ends, we're going to go ahead for our, um, our end here, sorry, our start to be flat. Okay, now notice how that line flattened out, uh, and the transition angle is going to be 90 degrees. That means it's going to go 90 degrees to get to the transition angle, and then once it's flat, it's going to go another 90 degrees. So, so basically, it's going to take 90 degrees to get to the transition angle. We can make it longer, like 180, and then once it's flat, it's going to go another, um, this might cause an error here, but I'm going to go another 180 just to demonstrate. So I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And let's see what happens. <laughs> it basically, it might be self-intersecting or have some other problem. Okay, but it didn't. Okay, so now those ends now are flat. So imagine we, we had this uh, spring. Now it could sit flat on a surface. Okay, uh, best of luck. Um, good luck with the coil tool. Uh, there we have it.